A dramatic turnaround in the You Paid for an Investigation of a St. Louis Alder woman. She wanted to spend $400,000 of your money on her way out of office. We'll show you how the new alderman put on the brakes in tonight's You Paid for it. St. Louis Alder woman Dorothy Kerner committed to spending $400,000 of city sales taxes on her way out of office. The neighborhood association led by Chris Winthrop screamed. Now, after our report, a big change by the new alderman. A change Winthrop and others are cheering. The new alderman has actually gotten together with the community, talked about these issues, and reduced the amount spent based on what is actually needed. So about $300,000 of taxpayer money has been saved. Dorothy Kerner had been in office for five years but decided to retire. She accumulated more than $600,000, much of the money the ward gets from city sales taxes. In her last month in office, she submitted a list of nearly a dozen or so projects that would have gobbled up $409,000. That included $25,000 to repave the street in front of her house. Kerner did not want to appear on camera. I opted not to chase the older woman down the hall who was stepping down at 74 years old. But she told me on the phone... These are projects that I had started and said this is the way I wanted them to end. There were some projects in the works for years that I wanted finished. There was no accountability in someone leaving right out the door, spending money on the way out with no one to hold her accountable with these issues. I caught up with the new alderman, Shane Kahn, who promised to look into this deal. I'm going to do what's right and make sure that uh, you know, the streets that uh, are on the list to be paved are you know, needing to be replaced and uh, you know, move forward with the ones that I think are appropriate to be paved. After that, dramatic action. Alderman Kahn cut the $409,600 all the woman Kerner wanted to spend down to $68,600. Among the Kerner projects cut, her street. Well, it turns out uh, over $20,000 did not need to be spent on repaving the street in front of her house, and actually about $5,000 could fill some potholes and, and do some chip sealing in that area. What's your feeling about this whole thing? I think it's great. I mean, uh, without the You Paid For It story, and it's a, it, we wouldn't have gotten $300,000 of taxpayer money saved. It's a good example of how when people get involved in their community, a lot of things can happen. A lot of good things can happen. Now, remember, we're always on the lookout for your dollars, so if you spot questionable government spending, make sure you call our hotline. Here's the number, 800-846-KTVI, or go to our website, foxwhonow.com, and I'll investigate. After all, you paid for it.